Hello everybody, welcome back to this video. In this tutorial, we're just going to show you how to create a new project and import the important assets into the project. So I'm just going to hit new and here I'm just going to type the name of the project which is Mindizer 2D Game Manager. Okay, or let's name it in general, Mindizer Game Manager. Here you need to choose a location. I'm just gonna go and choose um, from the desktop. And here I'm just gonna create a new folder. Call it Unity Projects. And just choose this folder and create project. All right, here we go. So this is our Unity interface. Um, here you can see we have a camera. We need to change this camera into orthographic mode. And here, let's choose solid color. And here I need to choose a different color, let's say this color. All right, so we got the main camera here. I need to start with a new scene. Uh, so right now, if you click play, you're going to play the game. Okay, here we got the game menu. If you pause the game, you can see also here we have scene. So this is basically the scene or the world of the game where you develop the game here. Where do you see the results? So I'm just going to create a new scene here. But before you create a new scene, it's recommended to create a folder for your project. So I'm just going to hit here, New, Create Folder. And here, just going to name this folder as Mindizer Game Manager. Okay. So we're going to put everything, including the images, the source file, the scripts, everything inside this folder. So basically, you're just going to get started with a new scene. You right click and create another folder inside the game folder. And I'm just going to name it Scenes. All right. So here, I need to create a new scene. In, in order to create a new scene, you have to go to the file. You have here Save Scene option. You click on that. And here, you need to type the scene name. So I'm just going to name it like Level 1. And here you need to choose the location of that folder. So let me just choose the assets and click save. And after that, I'm just going to move back to assets and move the level into inside the game. And you can go to this folder and move level one inside the scenes. So right now we got the scenes and we have only level one. So you can go back to this project and always going to see this scene here. You double click on it in order to open it. But right now this scene is empty. And we have here directional light. If you want to develop 3D games, you can keep this here. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to delete this directional light. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to go to the scene mode here. And just going to create a new interface in order to begin with the design and process of this game. So basically, you need to go to game object and here you have something called UI. I need to drag and drop a panel. Okay, so once you drag and drop, the panel is just going to see it here. But we want to see this panel in 2D mode. So in order to see this panel in 2D mode, you click here. So right now we are in 2D mode and here we have the camera. You can see we got um, the camera here. Uh, we have a solid color here. Okay, but when you go when you go to game, you're gonna see see it something like that because basically we have the panel here. So you can turn off the panel and turn on the panel which is here. As you can see, we have here the panel and we have the canvas, and the canvas is just basically a component that's gonna cover the entire screen. Okay. So if you go to the panel here, you can see we have a panel here. 
and this panel covering the entire screen. Why is that? Because we have a canvas, and the canvas here, you can see it, the render mode of it is screen space. So you need to change it to word space, okay? Because we need to cover the entire world, and here we can drag and drop the camera to the word space. Okay, you can go back to game, and double click on the main camera, and click play. You can see that we changed the canvas render mode to the word space. You can click on the screen space, you're gonna see it something like that. So we're gonna play with this later on. Right now let's keep it screen space uh, because we just wanna cover the screen space right now. And uh, we have here the main camera as you can see here. We have a canvas, we have a panel, and you can control the opacity of the panel. So in, for example, you can make the panel white or you can change the color of the panel to any anything you want. All right. Okay, so right now we're just gonna get started with importing the asset inside the game. So I'm just gonna go to this folder and create another folder and name it images. Images, okay. And here you need to drag on drop the folder. So we're just gonna give you all the required images in the assets uh, in the download tab of this video or the video description and you can download all the assets okay and after that basically um, you can import all these assets inside the project so I'm going to go to the project folder and as you can see here let me just exit the full screen mode and as you can see here we got the images so you need to extract this file here and after that you select the entire folder by clicking on the keyboard command A and you drag and drop all these images into this folder into this empty folder here where we have images so I'm just gonna come here and drag and drop all these 24 images into this folder location. Awesome. So right now we have 24 images imported inside the project. I'm just gonna select all these images, so Control A or Command A on Mac, and I'm just gonna change their compression type into true color because I need to get the maximum resolutions from these images. So I'm just gonna choose true color and keep it here as texture. All right. Perfect. So what are these images? These images are just the sliced picture that we showed you in the previous lesson. So we just sliced everything into single images, PNG files. So when you click on any of these images, you're just gonna see its size and memory. So for example, when I click here, you can see the size of this object is about 300 kilobyte. Okay, if you go here, you're gonna see the same thing. So that is really the thing that we have here. You know, the size of these images is pretty much high, but we need to get a larger resolution. So you can select all these images again and make a compression for, for them. So I'm just gonna click Command A here and I'm just gonna change the size of them. So notice here the size of this single object is about 5.3 megabyte. So if you click here Control A and you go to the maximum size you click 1024 and just true color click apply you're just gonna compress all these objects into smaller sizes. So right now, once you click here, you're gonna you're gonna have this object as 5.3 megabyte. But for the other objects, they they're gonna be compressed. Okay. If you don't like the size this size, you can again click Control A, and you can change the max size to something else. Like I want to choose. 512 
and next I click apply you're gonna compress these objects into another size so notice here the size of this object is about 1.3 megabyte so it was 5 megabyte right now it is 1 megabyte so this is a better size okay so right now I'm just gonna go to uh, for example the you have here like selection background you can choose this and control it but right now we are okay with this so for example in order to choose any one of these images you can click on the panel here that we had added in the last few minutes and you can see here we have source image you can click here and after that you're gonna have the select sprite screen and from this sprite screen you can select the image from the images so if you click on the see assets you're gonna see all the images that we have here but notice that we don't have all these images inside the images folder and why is that because these images are not sprites you need to convert them into sprites so I'm just gonna click command A again and convert them instead of choosing texture I'm just gonna choose 2D and UI sprite all right and just gonna choose single and here we're just gonna choose this mode by linear and the max size true color to cut the maximum resolution and just gonna click apply all right we convert all these objects into sprites okay so right now I can use this sprite here as a source for this panel for or for this image so if you click here you can see I can choose for example this selection panel which is blue it is blue or sky blue but I cannot use it here as a sky blue because as you can see here we put a color for this um, for this image so you can come here and click reset and select again the sprite right now we just get the true color of that sprite so this is the panel that we have in order to resize this panel you can go here to the scene double click on the panel you're gonna see this panel over here you can click here for example click here click here and just minimize this panel into this side and once you go to the game you're gonna see this panel over here you can go to the main camera and change the color of it to be something else like this color all right before we move into the next lesson I just want to show you how to modify the size of the game to work on mobile phones so you go to the display one here okay you're gonna see we have here in the current display we have a free aspect ratio I'm just gonna choose 1610 if you don't have 1610 on your computer you can add that manually by going to add and here you need to choose 16 10 and I'm just gonna choose aspect ratio and let's say here iPhone 6 plus okay so this is basically a, a ratio to work on mobile mo 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 mobile devices all right so I'm just gonna add this ratio and from here I can choose this ratio so this size here let me say the black size or the black screen it's just basically the actual screen of the device so right now if we go with the panel double click on it or you can you could take the panel here okay in order to see the two, two screen at the same time you can see the panel I can just modify the panel and just adjust its borders to match the border of the screen but once you minimize the screen or maximize the screen it's gonna be matching the border of the screen and this is really awesome but this is happening because we have something called anchor system inside unity we're just gonna explain that later on but in this lesson to give you a quick recap uh, we just introduced to you the main navigation here um, we have a game tab the scene tab uh, we have created a canvas with a panel and we saw how to uh, create um, 
how to convert these images into sprites and how to assign these sprites here for this panel and you can turn off this panel and turn it on okay because it's an image you can turn it on and turn it off um, you saw how to convert all these images into how uh, into UI sprite and you saw how to compress image sizes into smaller sizes this is the actual size of memory so instead of 5 megabyte you gotta have 1 megabyte which is sounds great um, also you saw how to change the camera uh, from um, you know change the camera from uh, from orthographic to perspective and the main difference here orthographic is for 2d where their perspective is for 3d games um, here you saw how to choose to change the um, background of the camera and also you saw how to add canvas and panel and how to adjust the size of the panel on the to to match your needs so this is just a quick introduction we're gonna go in depth with all these details in the next videos but this is just a quick recap and a quick overview of unity and the main reason why I created this lesson just because I, was, I just want to teach you how to import the UI sprites into your unity project thank you guys again for watching we're gonna see you in the next video